below everyone, so I have like a huge pile here. So I'm going to start with this here. This is some ephemera, like jungle ephemera I made off camera. I made a bunch of different things here. Because I had time. Let's see if I can readjust this a little bit so you can see better. All right. Again, just some different ephemera that I made while playing around outside. This is some piece that I printed off on a time card and I really like how it looks in the back so I think I'm just going to leave it as that. This one I just added a little rhinus. Or rhino. Bleh. And then cute little cards. I didn't do backing yet but I'll get there. I can do that off camera too. I figure why not. Pocket here. Pocket here. Cute little journaling card. A quadruple, so there's a spot here, a spot here for stuff, a spot here for stuff, a spot here. Another guest check. Another guest check. Ugh. Cute little envelope. This I did off screen for my space journal that I've been working on and off with. And then some randoms here that don't really go with anything but are just cute little pieces here. I did some stamping and I thought, oh, I'm just going to have fun with this and cut it out some pieces that I really like, but this one I need to re-sew the top. This I need to sew the bottom. <laughs> I cut one of my belly bands in half. I thought it looked better as two tags. So I got all that done. Then I made this journal in the last few days. I just did it quick and I'll do a walkthrough of it later on but cute little journal no I started fussy cutting and printing out all the pieces for my fall pastel junk journal and I picked out the journal portion I, I figured everybody's doing these altered books I'm gonna do an altered book And I found a whole bunch of these people in a book of costumes, so I figured that would be cute with it. So that's something we're going to be working on soon. Then I prepared a bunch of little golden books. Now I still gotta pick out the pictures and stuff that's gonna go in them, but we've got one, Tom and Jerry. This one, 
I'm thinking about just taking all the papers out of it. I really like the journal or the dictionary paper on it and maybe just covering the cover completely and everything. I don't like the cover. This one is a Sesame Street themed. This one is a circus book. This one is a cowboy one. And I know that ain't a journaling or a one that's about or a golden book, but yeah. And this is one of the first golden books. And this is about Adams. set this in here. Do you do that? George books? Them aren't your books. These are mama's books. Yeah. Mommy paid for these. Alright. And this is Mr. Bell's Fix-It Shop. This one is a Thomas the Train. Which I'm not sure what happened to the cover. Did it somehow get mixed up in this? Thomas the Train Breaks a Promise. This one is Little Cottontail, which I'm just going to make into a plain old bunny book and cut out pieces and everything else out of there. And this is portions of another Pinocchio and this Pinocchio. And I just figure, okay, we're just going to do a plain journal type inside and I'm just going to decorate it up with all the ephemera pieces that I have from the Pinocchio series. Make maybe journaling cards and pockets and stuff like what I did with Mr. Toad. I like how I did that one so I'm gonna try doing that with all these. I have a huge pile here of different what ones that I need to do. do next? And this is what I'm doing next is this series and I'm gonna try doing them each together so that's why this is gonna be a golden book series I'm very sure of it maybe I might only do half of them at a time though I'm gonna get really sick of golden books fast so that's my thought process these were ones that I had already taken apart gotten ready but I'm excited to do this series too, my altered book series, which will be next, what we'll be starting on after I do my walkthrough video. So, and I am trying to do as much ephemera as I can on the side, so, I got my bag. while I have a chance to, enjoy the rest of your day. I got Bye. My bag.